to the people who want to know what all went on last year on the show and what's getting ready to go off this year, stay tuned for another episode of Letters to the People. Let's think out loud and jot it down today. Hey guys, happy new year and welcome back to the show. So good that you guys are still following along this wonderful video podcast journey. Guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about what all went on last year for the show. Just a little recap and we're also going to discuss what's coming up here on the show. I want to start out as usual with our letter header today because it's going to be my verse for this year and I want to see if it'll resonate with you guys. Um, I did go ahead and post my video for my birthday. So if you want to hear our birthday message, go on ahead and do that. I will link it there in the description for you and I'll probably have a little tag up here somewhere as well on YouTube. So guys, the scripture for this year is going to be out of Romans. It is Romans 12 verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So guys, you know, I like my study Bible and this study Bible has some really great excerpts on the bottom where it explains the scripture. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that right now. Uh, It talks about how one's whole being must be presented by a decisive act of the will to God for his service. Yielding leads not only to dedication, but also can result in separation, which is talking about not being conformed to this world. Finally, yielding to the Father includes transformation of your mind. This work is said to be accomplished through a lifetime of renewing the mind, and a man's mind has been darkened by sin and must be brought to a place where it thinks and acts more like God. Guys, so this year, as I was talking about in my uh, video having to do with my birthday, I really believe it's a time that we need to discern more for ourselves the voice of the Lord. It is a time of separating ourselves from other voices that are not aligned with what the word of God says and what it is trying to be in our lives. Uh, Last year, I ran into some trouble in this area where it felt as though I thought I was listening to the voice of the Lord, but because of my heart posture and some of the situations that I was dealing with, I actually allowed an opening where um, the voice of the enemy was able to take a foothold. And I began to do things that normally I wouldn't have done. I normally wouldn't have listened to, um, but I did. And I can admit that. I can admit that I made a mistake in listening to people or, um, you know, things online even that led me in a way that I didn't really need to go. And when that happens, you also face some consequences. And that's okay because God still loves you. Even though he are facing chastisement, he he chastens those that he loves. So I know that even though I've made those mistakes and I listen to those voices, that God's grace is still sufficient for me. And this year, I really implore you all, as I'm going to myself, to really discern what is the voice of the Lord for your life and really listen to the voice of the shepherd because he's not going to lead you astray. I promise you. I've seen the promises of God really come to pass in my life over the years. And last year was rough for me. I went through some tough times, um, some tough things. But this year, I know that things are going to be different because I know that God is faithful. So, guys, just to recap a little bit last year on Letters to the People, we saw some great growth exponentially on our pages. Man, we grew probably almost 50 percent. And with regard to like some of my content and my shorts, um, some of the views really skyrocketed. And I found that was because I clickbaited you guys just a little bit with some of my thumbnails. So I am here on YouTube mostly uh, as a video podcast. And I'm learning um, through other YouTubers and other podcasters kind of how to uh, maneuver and uh, do well to get the views. But honestly, I really want to grow organically 
um, some people have reached out to me and they said, you know, you're doing this for a year, Lakeitha, and it like doesn't seem like it's growing. And, you know, I have the ability to go ahead and like buy views and buy followers and, you know, go on Facebook and Instagram like other people have um, and, and buy those. <laughs> but I really don't want to do that. I want people to follow me who I know are going to get something from the message that I'm bringing. Um, I don't need 5.5 thousand followers on YouTube. And then I only have five people consistently listening to the messages that I'm bringing. What is, what is the sense of that? One of the models for this show is to the Lord. If it only reaches and touches one person, then that's enough because at a time in my life, I was that person that needed to hear the messages that I'm bringing today. So thank you for those of you who have reached out saying, you know, how can I grow a little bit more? Basically, honestly, if you guys like and share the content, then I will grow more because it will reach people who are like minded to you because you have friends um, that, you know, you have on social media who you are friends with off of social media. And if you share the content to them and they align with your values because you're listening to me, you must align with mine too, then they'll follow along the show as well. And they'll find me on social media. So last year, I also picked up a few sponsorships. And one sponsorship that I picked up was honestly so amazing. I was in the studio, we were talking and we had just prayed about uh growing and getting sponsorships literally when we said amen somebody knocked on the i'm not even kidding somebody knocked on the door and he was like what is going on here like what are you guys doing i heard you guys were praying i think that's awesome and i see all the cameras and so i told him what the show was about and he said hey you know that's great i have a landscaping business i'll sponsor a few shows and after that things just literally picked up uh, I received a check in the mail out of nowhere for a donation that same week. Um, the Raleigh Voyager reached out to me for an interview. After I did my interview with Raleigh Voyager, a couple of um, uh, legislators up in Raleigh saw my interview and they congratulated me. A couple of them actually want to come on the show this year uh, during session to talk about different things um, that's going on up with the legislature. Uh, so it's just been, wow. Okay. God, I guess, you know, this is really growing. I went to a conference guys. I went to a salt and light conference. Now there's a pro to this and there's a con to this. It was an awesome conference. I loved it. I met so many people networked really well. It was awesome. The con was right when I was getting ready to post all that content, my computer went down and my phone went down and I was so upset. It was all like done for like two weeks and it was crazy but in the midst of that since i didn't get to post it a couple of people that i did interviews with who are actually campaigning right now reached out to me and they said hey we never saw your video come out you know what happened and i explained it to them and they want to come and do an interview anyway on the show and i was so blessed by that i was like wow you want to re-interview with me like that is so awesome so uh god is really been opening the doors that way for people to come on the show. So not only people coming on the show, I am also going on other shows. I've been reached out to by several podcasters who have seen uh, the video podcast or seen my stuff on social medias. And uh, I am really blessed to say that I will be a guest on five podcasts this year so far. So I don't want to give the shows away just yet, but please look out for those episodes and I will announce those um, when they're coming up. The last and one of the most greatest things was Patreon Mobile picked me up as an affiliate. And what that means is whenever I am able to use my promo code with any of you guys, um, they will in turn give me a commission um, for spreading their message for anybody that switches over to Patreon Mobile. And I have a great relationship with them now. So much so that the CEO is actually stopping by next week to interview on the show. I'm blown away that he wants to come on my little show. Like the guy is like a multimillionaire. And uh, I just, I'm so just blessed and blown away by that. I really am just speechless. He's just really humble. He's really awesome and nice. And I cannot wait to interview him and for you guys to meet him here on the show. 
So one of the other things that's going to be happening is I'm running for office, guys. So you're going to see here uh, on YouTube a series come out. And this series is going to be videos of me answering some questions or just talking a little bit about my story uh, and my why as to why I'm running for school board. Guys, I've been in the fight for the schools and for our kids since how long now? I think, you know, since at least 2020. Uh, and I don't plan on stopping until Jesus comes back because this next generation is not going to be called the lost generation. They're going to be the generation that seeks after the Lord. If I have anything to say about it, I don't believe uh, what the media is trying to say. And the statistics that come out that only one percent of Gen Z consistently goes to church. You all out here know me for a fact that if I have to go to every single youth group church, whatever, to just spread a little bit of my story, then I will do that because we are not going to have this Gen Z lost generation if us old millennials have anything to do with it who are really uh, fired up and want to see better for our kids want to see better for the next generation and that better only comes through relationship with the lord they will not be successful unless there is that foundation and with regard to public schools yes this and that about how it's hard to change them how the government has taken over and how you know the the funding where it comes from and their stipulations and we have to do this and that and schools are not really teaching our kids how to be successful later on they're just turning them into robots and guys i've heard all of the rhetoric i really have i just believe that now is the time that god is positioning certain people in places where children will be able to be influenced and see a difference in those leaders who are following after the heart of god so guys, that's pretty much the recap from last year and what's getting ready to go off this year. I am so thankful to all of you who have shown so much support for this show. Um, continue to like, share, and subscribe. Tell all your friends about the show. Again, guys, I always link the donations down at the bottom. Please reach out anytime you want, any kind of content you want to see. Letters, the number two, the people at gmail.com. I always love hearing from you guys and hearing uh, that you guys are enjoying the show or whatever you want to hear uh, me have to talk about. So, guys, i um, going to wrap it up here right now, and we will see you next time. Blessings and best regards. Lakeitha Babish, a voice for we the people. <laughs>